and in this video we're going to sand and glue on the bridge. So the bridge that's provided you is, is mostly made, but there's some rough edges. Uh, in particular, you may find some scratch marks there in the scallops, so sand those until that's smooth. The, the slot for the saddle will have uh, some cleaning up to do. And I like the look of the bridge if we radius those back corners and a general radius to the other corners. Uh, form some sandpaper into a cone and you can clean up the holes for the bridge pins. And uh, chamfer or uh, remove the sharp edge there. And on the end, and here's um, what you're looking for chamfered edges, uh, scratch marks removed. Okay, now we mark the center line on the back side of the bridge between the third and the fourth uh, holes. Transfer that to the back and then, most of this is the one we'll use, transfer it to the, um, the rear of the bridge. Now look for the center line on the top that's at the tail. It's a small laser etched edge. Uh, lay a straight edge between that center line and the little hole that's where the bridge goes and mark a center line one and one eighth of an inch behind that hole. Now install the neck and make sure it's sitting all the way into the neck pocket flush with the back edge. Okay, This is the fixture we'll use to locate the, the bridge so that um, the strings are the right length. We press that one slot into the nut slot securely and the other into the bridge slot, the saddle slot, and align the center lines. Now when you when you first put it on you're going to notice that it's probably not going to sit perfectly flat. That's because your top's domed. And so we need to sand the bridge to fit that domed top. Uh, so this is the best way to do that. And that'll take a while blow away the dust. Uh, you want to check your fit frequently. Uh, this is what you're looking for. Uh, we don't want to see any large gaps between those bridge wings and the top. Uh, if the gaps were less than a 30 second that would be acceptable. And here we are applying super glue. You want a uniform coat. Uh, slip it into the fixtures. Okay, now we're lining up the center line and place it in place. Now push down with gentle to moderate pressure uh, and we can wipe up the excess glue. A helper's good here. Try not to disturb the bridge at all when we're doing all these steps. So we're applying accelerator to the holes and then to the periphery. On the periphery I apply it and I hold it for six seconds or so. Try to hold perfectly still to let that glue set there. And now I just, after I've accelerated the perimeter, I, I hold the whole thing still for 30 seconds. And after a few minutes, um, carefully pry the fixture out without disturbing the bridge.